How's it going guys? Right, what do you get if a Sega Mega Drive and an Amstrad GX4000 had a dirty one night stand? I give you the Amstrad Mega PC. So uh, this baby came out in 1993 and if you've never seen one before it's basically uh, a splice of a 386 PC uh, mixed with a Sega Mega Drive uh, at the same time. This was an officially licensed product by Sega um, and uh, said I'd never actually seen one uh, until the other day when I actually picked this up. Um, I said I've laughed at them before in the past, um, but I actually took the plunge and I was like, no, I'm going to get one of these. So uh, I said one came up uh, locally and said I got, uh, got it at a pretty damn good price. And to be honest, I'm actually really, really happy with it. So let's have a quick look. So over to the business side of things, we've got the uh, Amstrad side, which is your... Uh, uh, floppy disk drive or disk drive as such and then you've got your uh, sort of little light displays there for power turbo in the middle there and your hard drive as well and then you've got this um, cover on the front there for the uh, Sega Mega Drive compatibleness uh, you flip that over and this gives you your Mega Drive side so at the top there we've got the, uh, the cartridge port then we've got controller ports 1 and 2 a reset button and we've also got the volume control there on the front as well so this comes with uh, two different controllers, so you've got the, uh, the classic Amstrad controller there, um, real uh, wonderful piece of kit I'm sure to play with, um, and then one of the uh, sort of rarest Mega Drive controllers that actually came out, so the, uh, the Mega PC controller, um, as I said it's a, sort of a, a luscious beige colour, or um, kind of like an imported um, uh, white Sega satin from Japan uh, when uh, when it's been in a smoky environment and it's slightly discoloured. Um, as I said, it's taken uh, a couple of hours of hardcore bleaching to uh, bring the uh, Mega PC back to its uh, luscious 90s beige glory, but uh, it's uh, it's looking pretty good now. So, we turn this baby on then. So, uh, well, actually, no, before we get to that, I'll actually show you, it actually came with the box as well, which I was actually well impressed with. Um, so, the original box itself, you can see on the side here, so we've got a uh, 25 MHz 386 processor. Uh, there was also a uh, 486 version as well, I do believe, came out. Uh, it's got a, a whole one megabyte of uh, RAM there, and uh, a, uh, an absolutely astonishing 40 meg hard drive there, so you can store at least two MP3s on the uh, Mega PC. And it's also got VGA graphics, and included in the box there, PC sound card, joystick, paddle, and mouse. Don't actually get the uh, Mega PC then. Um, and inside here, I said it has all the... Uh, polystyrene inlays as well so it's in pretty good nick to be honest um, I said I'm uh, really really happy with it so we'll turn it on we'll flip it into PC mode no nope, sorry that way first turn it on at the back give it a few seconds to warm up there so I said I don't actually have any games or anything effectively from the PC side of things uh, I do believe it's got uh, I think Windows 3.1 loaded on there as well, um, which is fairly useless. Um, so we're, I'm really interested in the the Mega Drive thing uh, side of things. So we'll uh, take a little bit of uh, Sunset Riders and we'll flip over the front there, which should then bring it into Mega Drive mode. Now, allegedly, you can just put your cartridge in, and it should j come on. Fingers crossed. He says, there you go. So you don't actually have to turn the system off uh, to start it up. So we'll plug in the controller. Get the controller plugged in. There we go. So with the VGA monitor, um, it is actually really, really good uh, looking um, picture for the Mega Drive. Sorry about the sound. Um, this has got two built-in speakers on the side of this monitor and they're just ridiculously ridiculously loud um, let's see if we can get this going I'll try and play one-handed really really badly just to uh, show you but effectively it is just a uh, just a mega drive uh, I said really really good version and a really good uh, picture on this thing and uh, to be honest yeah, I'm uh, I'm really, really happy with it. 
So I said, if you ever see a, a mega PC uh, out at a car boot sale or somewhere, uh, I can well recommend uh, picking one up. And if you've never had a go on Sunset Riders before, definitely pick that up because it's an absolutely fantastic game. Alright guys, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed a uh, quick look today at the uh, classically 90s beige Amstrad Mega PC. Okay, I'll catch you soon guys with some more reviews. Take it easy. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>